Right? Yep. Look at him right here. Yeah. Look at him right here. I know. And right there. Oof. Right there. Oof. See? You're going to go right through. Is it, if they're ever going to hit a popper. <laughs> yeah. Jeez, look at that. Oh. They're going to pitch right through this sucker. Look at that. Look. Tim's hooked up. Oh, he hit it! He hit it! All right, you guys. If you haven't used these hookup baits before, you can see there's no paddle tail back here. So as you retrieve any slight twitch of the rod and the thing jerks and twitches and goes up and down and left and right, you could actually make it so erratic that a fish almost can't get it. It's a great looking bait in the water. But you have to work it. It's not going to do all the work for you. Like a plastic swim shad. Oh, I just felt the fish whack it right away. Come on, come on. Uh, I think it's... There we go. But, so you can see how I was working it. If you just steadily retrieve it, even when I throw it through a big group of fish, it just doesn't... Hello. That's Grima. Tommy, right here, man. Okay. I want to crowd you. So you see, I had to really kind of work the bait, which is great. That's what I like about it. It's a cool little bait. And I liked it. After 10 fish or so, you can just replace the body. You don't have to replace the whole bait. Pretty fish. Good one. Look at that. That, look that white hook up bait, man. Things are deadly. Good job. Good job. It's going to be a little harder to cast, but I don't think they're hitting the bigger ones right now. There you go. Pretty. Ooh, thank you, Captain. A little white and chartreuse hook up bait. Yeah. Oh, the tiny one, huh? Yeah. Thank you, Cam. Little hookup bait. <laughs> Deadly. Jim is hooked up. All right, step to the back. That's all right. You know what to do. I've seen you catch 50 pound fish. How were you working it? Were you sinking it? Let it sink or? A little bit, yeah. You got a fish on? Yeah. Yeah, he's got a good one too. Come on, come on. Doubled. Can I do it? Can I make it a triple? Oh, I just got tapped. Oh, what is going on? They're tapping it. <laughs> What's that little casting reel? Still doing pretty good. That's a nice one, Tim. It's a pretty one. The one that brown one? Yeah. Yeah, he's doing good with the brown one. That's great. Brownie. Pretty. There we go. Hopper? Nope. Hookup bait. Show. Hit that little hookup bait. Thank God Ben showed us these baits because I'm not a real fan of uh, using swim shads. And, uh, I like these because you get to work the bait. You don't just cast and retrieve. Those little ones, it's gone. Dang. Look how he inhaled that bait. This is all white. <laughs> Good one. Nice one, Cap. Good job, bro. Oh, yeah. What'd you break, Crusher? I have Crusher and Crusher 2 on the boat. What'd you break? 
Not nothing. There's a Comoran in the mix too. Side scan is full. They're all over the left side. See those fish all over the port side? There's bait there. Fish on the port. That's what they look like. All right, you see that disturbed water? That's it, I see you looking. Keep your eye right there. Woo! My nose is running like a son of a gun. Let her rip. That's the one right there, look at that. Dude, I've already ordered a replacement for this casking reel because I thought it'd be dead by now. And it's not. Oh, there we go. There go. Yeah. Little casking reel. Not real big. It's fighting hard, but this little casking reel has been a kind of funny, pleasantly surprising little thing. $50 reel. Fish over here. A little hookup bait. There you go. Good job. Look at that little guy. <laughs> it's like a baby. It's a baby. Good sign. They're behind us thick now. They're in front of us, they're behind us. Let's go to the ones behind us, what do you think? It's like you're trying to like be quiet, like be slick. And it's like total, it's great. It's so funny, I had to put that up. Oh, it's so good. There we go. Man, such a, a light tap, almost like it's a plastic worm. You know, they, the name for these baits is the perfect name. Yeah, it's like when you just want to stop playing and you just want to hook up. Just took like five casts with that 10 inch BKD even though I know it's tiny bait just to see never know might be bigger fish around nope and they don't want it. they're keyed in on these little baits throw anything that doesn't look like those little baits non-productive dude this fish is so filled with bunker its belly's all distended Tim They'll really just tap it sometimes, man. You'll just feel like the slightest tap. And they'll only hold it for a second. So when you feel that tap, anything that feels strange, just go ahead and yank. Like they're not always gonna take it out of your hand, you know? Wow. Look how fat this guy is. A little chubby bait on that hookup bait. Yeah, little hookup bait. Chubby fish. So fat. What bait are you throwing? Real, like a five inch little shed. Bro, side scan is lit up on both sides. Look at that. Woo! I haven't, uh, I haven't really tried the flutter spoon yet. Wow, look at that, guys. Side scan is lit up. Goop it up. Got some stink for you, Tom, Tim. Want some stink? Dude, look at him breaking back there, right off front of you, Tommy. Tim, go throw it back there. Right behind you. Get, get. There we go. Hooked up. Tim, come back here. Drag the bottom. You feel a tick. Cross their fucking eyes. And I swear, dude, they just won't hold it. That little tick, right. and 
a little tick and they drop it. This little casking. I have about eight reels in this boat that are three hundred dollars, and I'm using this little casting all day. <laughs> I got it. Got it. Yeah. Catch it. I'm hoping you can catch one off of this. They're all over the screen, guys. Side scan. All over the screen down there. They're everywhere down there. Nice. Tommy's hooked up. What did it feel like when he hit? Uh, he hit it, he let it go, and I kept with it. I kept tugging it and jerking it, and he hit it again, and he made me very happy. <laughs> They're finicky, right? Yes. This year, it's been very, uh, very important to throw what they're eating. We'll go over to school these fish where there's busting, busting, busting. You can see the lines coming out of the water. We throw a 10 inch bait and they just won't touch it. I mean, you could roll it right in front of them, they won't touch it. So we had to go to these smaller hookup baits a lot this fall. And even further, furthermore, we couldn't even use the brighter colors, you know, like these chartreuse, and even the chartreuse in blue, we had to use the more subdued colors because the water's been so clear. It hasn't had a lot of rain up here. So these browns with a white belly, a pearl, the more subdued colors and the smaller sizes, even this was a little big, uh, th really the size below this was kind of the best. And, uh, and if you know fish are present and you're seeing the fish and they're not biting, change it up, you know, drop it to the bottom, drag the bottom, they want to hit the bottom, bring it through the middle of the water column, bring it just below the surface and change out the bait, go smaller, go bigger, change the color, keep going until it works. And the more guys you have, the bigger your advantage, work together, you know, have one guy throw a green, one throw a yellow, one throw a white, one work the top, one work the bottom, talk to each other and get it figured out. Once you get it dialed in, stick with that all day. But uh, I've had guys on this boat where they change nothing and they catch only a few fish all day and everyone's caught, you know, 10, 20, 30 fish even. And because they haven't dialed it in, they haven't made any adjustments at all. It's all about adjustments a lot of times. Some days you could do no wrong, but most of the days you're gonna have to make adjustments. Green's full. Screen is loaded. Fish on both sides. Look at that. I don't know if I can reach that. I don't think they want that popper. Oh, I just got thumped as I was walking to the back. There we go. Oh yeah, hookup bait, hookup bait. Yeah, no, they don't want that dang popper. At least, I had one hit it, but I dropped it right on his head and he still didn't. Ooh, this is a good one. Tim, run back here, throw that green can. Tommy's hooked up. Is that popper? No. <laughs> they won't touch that dang thing. <laughs> Look at the screen, boys. Yeah, this time. Uh, spoon's gonna catch a big one. Let it hit the bottom, bro. I'm like, look at that screen. Oh, little hook up, baby. Let me see him. Did you show him the screen, camera? Yeah, okay. Is he good? Yeah, he was. Uh, I missed me. And he was right at 28. So. Go, girl. Man, so many up and down there. Oh, yeah. What'd you break, Crusher? I have Crusher and Crusher 2 on the boat. What'd you break? Uh, not, nothing. Draw them into the shallow. Draw them in. You draw them in and drown them. Hey, Bodie, we're going in. Slow ahead. I can go slow ahead. Come down here and shovel some of this. Stand by for fire drill. Rig for depth charge. See, you brought your rubbers. 